Hello, ho my name's King Shoshan and welcome to Don't Forget. Now this is an Undertale mod that I'm assuming takes place after the game is finished, so it's kind of like a sequel I suppose. This is over on Game Jolt, so you can go and check this out, I'll leave a link for it in the description. But anyway, I'm gonna get straight into this. Press number two. I press two and nothing happens, so go F yourself. Is it beginning? Oh god, that's a bit loud. Okay. This is totally not creepy at all. This already terrifies my little boobies off. A few seconds after the end of an, the end of Undertale. There you go. There's confirmation. Come along, Frisk. I'm so excited to finally be on the surface. It's been so long. Well, anyway, the others should be up ahead. Let's go. No, Mom. I'm staying here. I'm looking at the pretty sunset. Okay, let's go. Whoa, this is like really weird looking. The last I actually played an Undertale mod a minute ago. That's, the video's probably already up, but called Other Tale, and it was like really smooth in comparison. This is like really slow. It's weird. Can I go there? It's not like a cliff. Da 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 da. Just walking with mom. Gonna read a sign. Warning: Do not go past this point. The cave up ahead to the right is dangerous. If you pass, we are not responsible for death. If you die, then you have no one else to blame but yourself. Although you technically wouldn't be able to blame anyone, because you'd be dead. <laughs> anyway, turn back now. Thank you. Nah, I'm a rebel. I don't listen to no rules. Me and Mama, we're gonna go do this. Ba ba ba, going to the cave of death. We're badasses. Warning. Do not climb the mountain past this point. Thanks. Mountain Glamour's Association. I assumed that's that, but I skipped it by accident. Down we go. Through this way. Ooh, grass. Interesting. Oh, we're at the bottom of the mountain. Yeah. Can I go up here? Bye, Mum. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm old enough now, Mom. I'm eight years old. I can go now. I'm gonna go and get a job. Get a wife. It's gonna be great. Triple dot. Triple dot. Triple dot. <laughs> I wonder if it was gonna be another rock that talked. Mom, where did you go? You disappeared. Oh. Hi, guys. Ah, oh, here you are. We've been waiting. Ahead of us lies a human village. Frisk. Are you ready to introduce us to the humans? Nope. You are wonderful. Should have at least got the decision though, but oh well. Let's hope they like us. Maybe it'll help if I tell some of my amazing jokes. Uh, well, maybe it might be best if we keep our jokes to ourselves. Alright everyone, it is finally time. Let us enter the village. Try to make a good first impression. This is very important. Off we go. Alphys killed a bunch of, beef, a bunch of creatures. I'm sure that wouldn't exactly be a good impression. A few months later. Oh, it skipped on to. Ah, oh, I'll say a point. Feeling the warmth of your f small cozy room. It fills you with comfort. Oh, and determination too. <laughs> your file has been saved. Why do I need a save? Is this going to be a long game? I kind of hope so. You open the closet. It's full of striped shirts. Everyone always has to try and make the closet joke. I've noticed that. It's, it's funny though. You don't really want to have a bedtime. I wanna go play with my friends. It's a convenient lamp. Okay, okay. My cat look out the window. It's the room. This room doesn't belong to anybody yet. 
However, it might be Asgore, so he manages to get back with Toriel. Currently, he's living on Undyne's couch until he sorts everything out. Well, at least he's making progress. Why does everybody seem to have the same designed house? I've been in this house before. That's really weird. Ah, good morning, my child. I hope you slept well. Also, where's the living room? We don't have a TV? This is bullshit. I'm out. I'm moving out, Mum. I'm going living with Sans. He has a TV. I hope. It's a beautiful day outside. You should really go out and play. It's so beautiful. Have fun. I'm pretty sure I've played this before, but it's a different version. I remember this exact house and her saying that. I mean, I'll still take a look at it anyway. It could be interesting, but... Don't forget to eat your greens. No, thank you. You're kind of disgusting. Because there was the beach. And then there was the place. I don't remember being able to go this way. Well, screw it anyway. There's a bunch of stuff to explore. I like it. It wasn't called Don't Forget, though. I'm sure it was called Overtail or something like that. Hi, Mr. Mushroom Man. Yeah. Not only are puzzles getting worse, video games are too. There's less original games out there now. There's a bunch of poorly made fan games. They're literally just copying other games. What a disgrace. It's a good thing we're not in any stick fan game. Sheesh. If we were, I'd really lose hope for this world. <laughs> I like it. Nice little personal touch. Hi, Bo. I heard some weird people are running for president. One of them wants all monsters to wear specific tags or something. But why? To make us different? Aren't we already different enough? We're monsters. <sighs> That's politics. Yeah, can I go that way? Nope. Can I buy some ice cream? Hi, buddy. Business is booming here on the beach. I'm so happy. Well, yeah, you're a beach. Hi, Zan. Uh, Papyrus. I said naughty things. I got the name wrong. Oh, hello, Frisk. Isn't that a lovely day outside? I've not done this voice in ages. This is weird. I just love the surface. It's beautiful. I'm currently enjoying this dazzling view. If you're looking for Sans, I... I have no idea where he is whatsoever. Check the door of our house. He might have left a note. Also, if you see him, remind him to clean the snow off the roof. I told him to do that months ago. See you later, Frisk. Can I can can I go see Onion Sun? Onion Sun? <laughs> oh, I gotta see Onion Sun. It's not fair. Alright, well, let's go back then. Right, which one is the house? I don't know what it looks like. I just need to find it. I get the feeling it's probably up here somewhere. If I remember correctly, it was this way. Because I think this is the same game as one that I've already played, but it's like updated. Happy Crooks, Rabbit. Okay then. What's this? This is the school? Oh no, it's the house. This is Sans of Pepper Cells. It's locked. However, there's a note on the door. I don't know why I'm saying it's in Sans' voice, but <laughs> I guess why not, right? Which says, at lab, be back later. I have played this before. This note is written awfully, but it's definitely by Sans. Should you go check on him in the secret lab? This will progress the game and you will not be able to go back. Weird. They've changed how it plays. I just had to go up there before. No, I actually have to make the decision to do it. Well, I'm gonna go and look around first, because everything's different now. Can I go to Grubies? Oh, yes. Oh my god. It's a Septic Eye. Hiya! I'm Sam. Septic Sam. I'm a giant eyeball. I can't blink, so I'm constantly in pain. It burns. Yes, that was my impression of Jack. Okay, shut up. <laughs> now, how amazing would it be right now if... I'm sat here playing this, you've got Septic Sam sat there, and then you've got the Kingfish sat next to him. Now that would be really amazing, I would love to see that. That'd be freaking awesome. Hi Calcifer. Trippadad, trippadad, trippadad. Oh no wait, he wasn't Calcifer, the little one was Calcifer. Oh well, you're all a flame to me, I don't care if that's flamest. What? <laughs> Hi. Okay. Hi guys. Hi. We're not sentries anymore, but we still wear these outfits because they look pretty cool. Cool. Hi. I'm still thinking about getting the spike collar. Okay. Is he just gonna go wolf? Can I even get him? Eh. Can't talk. Two. Can I have alcohol? Oh. I'm old enough now. I'm eight years old. Didn't you hear me earlier? I can't talk to him for some reason. Okay. I'll... Wait. Can I go to the jukebox? Still broken. Aw. Would have been cool if you could play freaking 
Napster, Napster, Blukes songs. That would've been cool. Let's see if we can get in any of these houses. The door is locked. Oh, wait, what? An indie dev lives here. Their name is Gicky R or something like that. Jicky? Gicky? I don't know. Ugh, I can't stop yawning now. I always feel suddenly really tired when I go to record. It's like my body just hates me trying to record. It sucks. The door is locked. You hear some funky music and someone's saying, oh yes, on the other side. Oh my god, Chef from South Park lives here. I'm gonna run the hell away right now before anything creepy happens. <laughs> the door is locked. You're someone watching enemy on the other side. That's my house. Welcome to my house, people. That's where I live. You peek through the window, you'll probably see me sh shirtless, wearing no pants. It's a wonderful time. Eating Doritos. It's great. I love to party. The door is locked. You hear someone shout, <coughs> on the other side. Hi, Undyne. How are you doing? <laughs> Who's here? The door is locked. You hear spooky tunes coming from inside. I wish I could go inside. I love to go and listen to them spooky tunes. They're awesome. Who lives here? The door is locked. A YouTuber lives here. The name is Pat Matt or something like that. <laughs> I don't know why, but I didn't expect that. Mr. Matthew Patrick. Have you ever seen Game Theory? Freaking love Game Theory. I don't know why, but I always kind of felt like, like, even though I'm quite a dumb person to be honest, and I probably wouldn't exactly click with. Matt on the sense, in the sense that he's really smart, I always felt like I'd probably really get along with him because I love nerdy stuff and I don't know, I'd love to have a conversation with him someday about just like Undertale and games and stuff, it'd be awesome. Anyway, let's continue on. Go and look at the note. Yes, I know. Yes. You decide to go to the lab. No one knows about it but you and Sans. It's around the back. Okay. Oh god, this is different. This is very different. Huh? Who's there? Oh, it's just you. Hey, kiddo. Sorry, I uh, wasn't actually expecting anyone to come in since, well, no besides you and me even know this lab exists. I would have thought if someone came by, they'd read the note. But not know where the lab is, so they just came back later. I forgot that you knew, though, actually, so, uh, I got a yard again. I'm not even kidding, I'm so tired. I started university this week and I'm exhausted. So I, I do apologize for seeming a bit low energy at times. I should be okay because I'm in good spirits and stuff today and I've had stuff to eat and energy drinks and stuff, which I shouldn't drink because they mess my heart up. But yeah. <laughs> Say, you're probably wondering what the heck this thing is behind me. Is it GLaDOS? I really kind of hope it isn't GLaDOS. <laughs> well, you know first, We've been through a lot, haven't we? You're the reason we're all here on the surface. And you're one of my closest friends. I'm pretty sure I can trust you, can't I? Nope. Shut up. Look, uh, I know this is out of the blue and all. Maybe it's time I told you something. I've never talked about this to anyone before. Not even Papyrus. I think it's time I told you the truth, kiddo. Promise me you won't tell anyone else, though, alright? Alright. Well... It's getting harder and harder to remember now, but I used to be a lab assistant. I worked for the old royal scientist. His name was W.D. Gaster. He was a great guy. One day, though, he discovered the most powerful thing in the universe, determination. He then built this machine that's behind me, which is powered by determination. It's sort of like a time machine, except instead of going to different times, you go to different timelines. However, it can also be used to bring things back from other timelines. For example, a person. Anyway, Gaston was a pretty curious guy. He had to test everything. So he gave himself a bit of determination. He even gave me a small bit too. And he started jumping from one timeline to another using this machine. It was fine at first, until one day. Gaston thought to himself, what would happen if he started killing monsters in other timelines? How would it affect other timelines? And of course he just had to try it. I tried to warn him that the more you kill, the more you distance yourself. But he didn't listen. He already wanted to find out what happened. Soon enough, he started going through different timelines, killing innocent people. His reasoning was, it's not in our timeline, so it doesn't matter. And over time, he started to become less sympathetic. He started to distance himself. Then one afternoon, he wanted to go full genocide in another timeline. I had to stop him. It was going too far. I, uh, think I remember now. It kind of feels like we are Gasta. Come on, G, this is stupid and you know it. You can't go to some random timeline and kill everyone in it. That's crazy. Let's step away from that machine, please. 
No, Zans, I will not. I must do this for the sake of science. Besides, it won't affect us well at. It's only affects at other timelines. I must find out what happens. Besides, I would never. I'm ready one in our own timeline. No one. Sans, don't you trust me? No. Because you're the man who speaks Nans. Trouble that. Don't you trust me? No, I couldn't. He wasn't the same guy I used to know. No way I could trust him. Hopefully when I bring him back, he won't hate me. My shoulder itches. Why would he be mad at me? Oh, well, uh, the thing is, after I tried to stop him, Gastroid activated the machine. Just when it was about to take him to another timeline, I quickly used one of my attacks to destroy the machine. Stop yelling! It caused the whole thing to go horribly wrong, and Gaster became corrupted. The timeline fell apart. Due to this, a new timeline was created where Gaster didn't really exist. This new timeline ended up being the one we're currently in. Gaster was stuck in the old timeline, which you can only guess is an empty void now. So basically, I'm the reason he's trapped in a dark void. I won't be surprised if he hated me. But maybe he's had a lot of time to think, and he's calmed down. Anyway, with this machine behind me, we could attempt to bring him back. I've tried to fix this thing so many times, though. Too many times to count. But I've got a good feeling about this attempt. Do you want to try it out with me? Alright then. You might want to stay back there, though. <sighs> Alrighty then. Let's have a dramatic countdown. Free! Two, one. Click. <laughs> nothing happened. You tried calling out for help, but nothing happened. Don't tell me it's still not fixed. I worked so hard this time, I didn't even fall asleep. Come on, work. I guess it ain't. Joy. Are we? There we go. Where the fuck am I? I feel like I'm on top of the mountain. Where Undyne and Papyrus had that conversation. Ring ring, where's my fucking phone? Also, fun fact, I may have broken my pink awesome phone by dropping it in a bowl full of water. Go me! So that's currently sat in a cup full of rice, so I'm using this one for now. The wrong button. Oh, uh, hello? Frisk, you right, kiddo? Where are you? Are you safe? Machine sent me to some weird dark version of Snowden. I don't see you anywhere around though, it must have separated us. Gee, that's strange. It's a good thing I remember to charge my phone. Mine's actually on lo very low battery, so I should probably charge mine. Anyway, uh, the machine is actually right here next to me. But, uh, there's a bit of a problem. I think the machine is, well, broken. And I can't fix it. But, now that I think about it, this place seems like the void. And if that's correct, then Gaster has to be around here somewhere. Maybe if he isn't too mad at me, we can ask him to fix it. He was the one who built the machine after all. I thought a bug just landed on my arm. It freaking tickled. Too loud. You know, I'm really confused as to why the machine separated us. I have no idea why that happened. But, uh, anyway, I need to look for Gaster. You should probably try to look around too. But be careful, alright? It doesn't look really friendly here. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. You're one of my best pals, Frisk. Well, anyway. I might call you again in a bit, so listen out for your phone, okay? Alright, talk to you soon. Click. No promises, my phone's kinda dying. I should probably get to the future before it dies then, shouldn't I? Da, 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 da. Whoa! There's like cool void energy down there. I get the feeling what that is, is that's the lava from Hotland, but they've changed it so that it looks purple. It looks really cool though, I like it. Da, 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 da. Actually, am I in Hotland, pretty much? Like another version of Hotland, just coloured purple. Looks cool though, I like it. What's with this weird brick wall? Oh. I feel like I'm about to go in and fight Spider Lady. You are now entering the desolate ruins. Only those who wish to die should proceed. It doesn't matter if you're brave or not. You're still going to die. Someone put their signature at the bottom. For some reason it's written in hands and weird symbols. God damn it, Gaster. More like plaster, am I right? 
<laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. You shall die here. You shall die in this miserable void. Where no one can hear you cry. Where no one knows you even exist. Life sucks, get used to it. Thank you for the words of encouragement. They fill me with determination. All this battles. Attacks. Uh, act. Compliment. Doesn't understand anything you say. Whoa, what? Well, this is interesting. What if I threaten him? You threaten him. He senses his anger and he's frightened. And I don't want to be. Ah! I don't want to be mean, but I don't want to, like. Fuck it up. He's trying to flee. Bye! Ah, okay. What if that means the genocide version of this game? Uh, this, uh. Fan game. And. What? <laughs> I don't know. Am I just switching spikes off here? I'm not sure, but I'm doing it anyway. Yeah. Uh, uh, approaches meekly. Console. Doesn't remember how to respond to positivity. He doesn't have the power of positivity! Uh, what if I threaten? You threaten him, it begins to panic and I vent alert. So I've got to be cruel? That's kind of nasty. Oh well. Since it doesn't affect the end. Da, da. Da, 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 Mike Wazowski from Monsters Inc. I know it said Monsters Tale then. This is a puzzle. This puzzle involves finding your way through an invisible maze. Ignore the cracks on the wall, by the way. Good luck getting through. Haha. Uh -huh. That's not that hard. <laughs> I was actually trying to go up to the wall to see if I could pass through it at first. Da, da, da. That dog's kind of cool looking. Save. Thing of having nowhere to go but forward. It fills you with determination. Father's been saved. Da 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 da. Now there's no going back. The only exit in this place is blocked. You will be trapped here forever. Just make sure that when you die, it's in a corner or something. I don't want to have to see your decaying corpse on my leisurely walk. Well, that's nice. Thanks for the words of encouragement. Came out of the earth. Talk. Ignores you. Okay. I guess. But if I, if I do dinner though, then I'll eat him, and that's like the genocide version. You patch your stomach, remember something. It's no longer interested in fighting. Okay, never mind. Bye, creepy carrot. Or CC for short. It's his nickname. Da, 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 da. I don't crawled up close. Oops! Let me do that. Da, 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 da. Why do you have the same attack as Frog It? That's kind of weird. Ignore. You ignore him. It pretends not to care. Is he gonna do the little dance? The void dance! Yeah! Lost the world's fight. Bye! You just pulled a face at me, it wasn't very pleasant. Oh. Mold small. Blacked away. I did it again! For the love of frickin' Jiminy Cricket. Blacked away! Stop yawning! Nope! 
Good girl. Right. Where uh, threaten, flirt, threaten. You threaten it. It sends your anger no longer wishes to fight. Da 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 Right, well, because I'm not too sure how long this is going to go on, this is getting on quite long already. I'm going to end this episode here and I'll do a part two of this where I can continue from where we left off. But anyways guys, if you want to go check this out for yourself, it's over on Game Chat. I'll leave a link for it in the description. Well, thank you for watching, don't forget to slap that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Pip pip toodaloo! Flower. No flower. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You need to Aren't you? God, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess.